Hey everyone, uh, Mike Kai here from Cleveland, Ohio. Just want to go over my brake setup since uh, Scott Dawson had asked a little bit about my brake setup and I know Jim Markle has the same type of uh, go-kart caliper brakes on, my air on his airplane, or he will. So here's just a quick overview, general overview of the, app of the uh, setup that I have. So what it is, I've got my axle off the airplane, so this is the axle. It's 0.19 thick. It's pretty beefy, 4130, uh, 0.19. It's all, everything's 4130 you see here. These plates, these pins, the whole thing. Anyway, this is the, this is what I'm gonna go over in this video. These are from MFG Supply. They are just your basic go-kart caliper go-kart caliper that's the part number if you're interested uh, they're good they're good little units <clears throat> but what I did is I made my axle to accept these and uh, there they are they're real cheap to get parts pieces parts to um, so they they come with a, a straight lever arm but I modified the lever arms with reinforcing plates I welded in some plates because I'm pulling on them at an angle and I also added a washer here to distribute the load. As I pull on this, I have heel brakes with a cable. So the cable runs from here up to my heel brakes. So it gets actuated by pulling back a little bit like here and here. There's a return spring that's normally here, uh, but that is, it's disassembled just because I'm uh, cleaning things up a little bit. So. Scott Dawson was interested in this assembly here, and all that are assembly actually just fitting. And uh, this is not going to be pretty, but I'm going to take it apart here. So this whole deal comes apart through this hole. This is a 4130 plate that I welded onto the axle, both ends to hold the brake. There we go. Caliper assembly. It's just a simple square plate that I cut a half moon shape out of, welded it here, and then I added these angle iron deals here to uh, reinforce it so it didn't warp or bend or twist. Drilled the holes to accept the caliper, and that's it. So it's worked real well. It's, it's worked well. I've been flying this airplane for 19 years, and uh, I can hold the airplane for run up at 15 to 1700 RPM. Uh, I can, you know, it's, it's very good. The, the brakes are, not, I don't use them on uh, landing, just the airplane is draggy enough, it slows down by itself. Uh, and if you have to use the brakes, you probably landed long anyway. So that is, that's the basics there of what we have. This is a tube of 4130, it's thick wall, and then this is my inside of the, uh, the Jenny landing gear legs. So I welded on a collar to that. And so this, on the inside of the gear leg, this rides up and down like this as the bungees, except, uh, you know, bumps and things like that. So it keeps the axle from twisting underneath the bungee cords, as well as it keeps the axle laterally in place. Uh, so it doesn't shift left and right. This is uh, Frank Pavliga gave me this idea. Uh, worked out great, and uh, everything everything here is uh, real simple, super simple. Here's some of the cables. I think these are the, the brake cables that I use to uh, to pull to the uh, the heel brakes that protrude just a little bit out under the belly of the airplane. And uh, let's see, just some other details here. I welded a washer here, and then put it on a lathe and ground it down until there's just a little bit of an edge here. So when the wheels slip on, the bronze bushings hit this and that's the stop there. And on the outside is just a wheel nut and the bronze bushings there, of course a cotter pin. Um, so Axel Olsen doesn't have his way with Robert Redford uh, and uh, be a fine loser. So anyway, that is it. I hope you, I hope that was helpful to you, uh, like Dan Hausberg talked about and Simon McCormick, they have band brakes, which according to them uh, work great and uh, they're fine men of great integrity, so I believe them. And uh, so, you know, whatever you use, there's a lot of ATV uh, four-wheeler brakes out there now for cheap, you know, you can use if you need hydraulic or you want hydraulic, that's fine too. Um, here, you know, I'm pulling at an angle 
um, coming up at an angle and uh, you know I didn't want to go through a pulley system or all kinds of funny stuff so I did I did this modification to this lever and it works just great however when I got done with this I heated it up to a dull cherry red with a torch and then dropped it in a bucket of water and that hardens it so this won't bend this kept bending on me so harden both of these by doing that quenching them and that was it and now they haven't bent and i've been using them you flying them for almost 20 years so that's it thanks for letting me take up a few minutes of your day hope that helped you out